everybody. Welcome to KB Barman. I'm Kevin Barrett. I'm a better bartender than you. I'm Duke Campbell. They call me the doctor, and today we're breaking some rules. That's right, Duke. We're going to break some of the rules because I read the comments. I know what you guys say about me out there. Everyone thinks I'm a stickler for the rules and persnickety, whatever that means. Accurate. <laughs> but the one rule we're not going to break is we're going to have fun today because that's what drinks really should be about. Everything we teach you is the fundamentals of how to make great drinks, but if you're not having fun, then what's the point? So we're gonna do the KB Barman Ultimate G and T, and gin and tonic. Speaking of breaking the rules, if you don't wanna use gin, that's just fine. If you wanna use vodka instead, if you're one of those people, that's okay. Tonic, we prefer Fever Tree Tonic. I like the light version of the West Indian uh, tonic, just for flavor. Um, if you wanna use soda water, if you wanna use seltzer, if you're one of those weirdos, that's fine. Doctor, what do you prefer? I'm a weirdo. Soda water man myself. Knew it. And as you see, we're gonna, we, we have a lot of ingredients, a lot of options, but we're gonna focus on juniper berries, lemongrass, star anise. We have some fresh fruits and fresh berries. We have some fresh herbs. It's really your chance to look in the fridge or check out the garden and just see what you have. Experiment with flavors. Remember, have fun, forget all the rules. So let's start making this drink. Let's Dude. do it. I'm gonna take my Wine glass here, I, I suggest using a big glass here, a pint glass, a goblet, anything you have at the house. And if you've watched our other videos, you know that we're starting to break the rules right away. So I'm gonna take all this ice, and I'm gonna fill this glass. I'm putting the ice in first. And then, I'm gonna take my Conniption American Dry Gin, that's what we're using today, and I'm just gonna pour in there. What is happening? I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm having fun, Duke. Leave me alone. Still get it on your shirt. All right, and I'm gonna take this uh, Fever Tree Tonic, and again, I'm just eyeing it up. We're just having fun here. I'd say it's about three parts to two parts. That's how I like it, a little strong. All right, now let's see what I have here. I've got some juniper berries, and we all know gin is flavored with juniper berries, so we'll just put a couple in there. It's a little accent flavor. I have star anise. I'm gonna take one star anise pod and drop it in there, because it's so strong. The longer it sits in there, the more that flavor is gonna come through too. Uh, and then my lemongrass. All right, I'm gonna put a little lemongrass in there. I'm gonna take a dehydrated lime and put it in there. Traditional garnish for a gin and tonic is a lime wedge. We'll put a dehydrated lime in there. I'm also gonna take a little rosemary and I'll put that in there. See how that plays with the lemongrass? You know what, I think we're off to a good start. You could add more, you could play with it some more. But for now, I'm gonna drink this. Thanks for joining us today at KB Barman. I hope you enjoyed our segment on KB Barman Ultimate GMT. For more recipes, check us out at kbbarman.com. Guys, give this video a like and subscribe to our page. And if you're in North Carolina, come see us at Draymond Drafts. I got my own right here. A little soda and gin. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no rules. Good to go.